Hey guys, thanks for checking out my new video. Thanks for watching. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and I thought I would discuss the topic of mental health with you guys. A couple of you commented on a previous video of mine and you said you mentioned about the anxiety and yeah, unfortunately I do suffer from anxiety quite bad to the point where I haven't been able to go to the cinema, I haven't been able to go to restaurants and I haven't even been able to leave my house a lot of the time and just walk, have a walk into town. And I know that a lot of you guys probably are suffering from the same thing, so I just wanted you guys to know that I'm here if you do need someone, even if you just need someone to rant to or complain to, whatever. You guys can always message. But yeah, my anxiety is severe. I was diagnosed with depression um, when I was about 13. I was put on to antidepressants for several years, trying different antidepressants. I feel like I completely exhausted the list. And recently I decided to go back to my GP and ask if I could be re-diagnosed because I'm not depressed all the time. It's one of those things where my mood would just go up and down all the time. I didn't feel down like every day. I kind of felt like I was kind of all over the place and my head was a mess a lot of the time. I didn't really know what to say. I couldn't construct sentences properly. I couldn't think properly. One minute I was sleeping all the time. One minute I was barely sleeping at all. And the same with my eating habits. Sometimes I would eat nothing at all for, for days at a time and then other times I would just not stop eating and we all know eating is a comfort thing so it was probably because of that but yeah so I went to my GP and they advised me to go to a specialist therapy center so I went there and they asked me a load of questions I was in there for about an hour and they basically just asked me about my previous diagnosis how things have been since then how the medication has been helping and whatnot just your usual questions and finally I got the answers I needed and they re-diagnosed me with a personality disorder. Not a physical one, they said it was an emotional personality disorder, which is something that I knew I had all along and I knew it was something along the lines of bipolar disorder or a personality disorder. I knew it wasn't depression, so it was very frustrating for several years since I was 13. This is something that I've, just, I've been struggling with for so long. So it was really frustrating. I felt like nobody was helping me, nobody was actually listening, nobody was taking me seriously. And it was a massive relief that people finally took me seriously. So I've been put on a new medication and I'm feeling good. The medication I feel is actually suited to me now. It's actually suited to my problems that I'm having and my anxiety has been a lot better lately. It's still kind of up and down a lot of the time. I don't really know how I'm gonna feel the next day, but most of the time I feel okay. I feel quite positive and I'm back into work now, working full time, which is great. So it's good to get back into that routine. So basically, the reason I'm telling you guys is because I know a lot of you and I know a lot of people in general suffer from depression and anxiety and even bipolar or schizophrenia or anything that's, you know, vaguely similar. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone and people are listening to you and I know how frustrating it is. I've been through it myself, years and years of fighting, years and years of calling this person, calling that person. At one point I actually signed up to counselling. I was told that I wasn't eligible for counselling and therapy, which was just ridiculous because I pretty much tried to almost kill myself about a month before then. But yeah, it does get better. And I know you're probably sick of people saying, look on the bright side, it does get better, just wait and see, and things like that. It does, and I promise you, it will get better. It is hard, but you got to think of it as a way that it prepares you for your future life. It prepares you for any issues that you that might come up in the future. And you are so much, so much stronger after all of this. You might be jealous of the people who never have any problems, never had any financial problems or emotional problems or breakups or whatever. You might be jealous of them, but they're the ones that are going to struggle when something goes wrong in the future they won't know how to handle it but you will and you'll know how to handle it very well and that's one thing that you've got to keep thinking that this is making me a stronger person all of this is worth it because soon 
I'm gonna feel better and I'm gonna be stronger and I'm gonna be ready for the future. I'm gonna get back into work, I'm gonna make new friends, I'm gonna start my new hobbies and loads of stuff. And you will, you will, I promise. And I know a lot of you are probably sitting there feeling stuck and I was feeling exactly the same. I just want you to know that you're not alone in how you feel. So many people are going through the exact same thing as you and I feel like we need to really get together and support each other because I know how much it means to have someone there even just to talk to or to rant to or to shout at or anything. But you guys, honestly, you can do that with me. I'm here, just message me. You can message me on my Instagram at Laurie. You can message me on my Twitter or YouTube. Comment below if you want to. I really don't mind and I'd really love to be there to, to support you guys. So just don't feel like you're on your own. It's not you. It's Even if it is your illness, you've got to think that that, that illness isn't you. That illness is like a second you. That's trapped in your body you know that's not you that's your bipolar talking or your depression talking or your anxiety talking that's not you you're i'm not gonna say normal because i really don't like it when people say that people with mental health aren't normal but i mean you as a person you're not anxious you're not depressed you don't have bipolar your illness is masking that completely so it will start you know, gradually, gradually flaking down and you will eventually start seeing you again and you eventually become more and more like you. And then before you know it, you're you again and you can just say goodbye to the illness and say, yep, fuck off. A lot of you might have found this really boring, but I just wanted to talk to you guys in my vlogs. That's kind of what they're for. It's an important topic to cover and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and like I said please message me if anything is going on in your life, if you have anything on your mind, just message me, I, you're really not bothering me, I, I'd love to hear from you. Um, feel free to comment below and if you did enjoy this please do leave a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are just coming across my channel because that really helps a lot. Thank you, bye guys.